Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Day 29 of my 30 day challenge. Oh my God, I can't believe I've got this far. Well, I can, I'm, when, I, when I make a decision, I stick to it. And I've gained so much clarity during this challenge, which I'll probably share with you on day 31, even though that's not officially part of the channel challenge. Today, I wanna to talk about foreplay. Someone asked yesterday, how long should foreplay last? And I thought, what a great topic, such a great topic to discuss. I think it's from that from David again. Hello, shout out to David. You've, you've been giving me so many ideas. It's wonderful. Um, doing half the work for me, thinking of the content. So how long should foreplay last? Well, I think there's no set formula. It's not like it has to be so many minutes. And also, I really don't like the term foreplay. It's, it's like saying that penetration is the main course and foreplay is the starter. And that's not how it should be. I think part of the problem when sexual, let's say communication is failing and pleasure, etc., is because we define sex with penetration by, um, and that's not how it should be. I think penetration is wonderful, but it shouldn't be the kind of like, oh yeah, let me just touch you, make sure you're wet and, and let's just go for it. Because when you when you spend so much time on the penetration part, it can get very monotonous, like in, out, in, out, in, out, we're gonna come now. If I stop now, it's gonna feel really awkward. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. I just find that really, really monotonous and boring. Um, so I think it's really good to really enjoy foreplay, what, what we know as foreplay, as much as possible. And even one of the best things tips I can share with you is to actually have some sessions where there is no penetration. It really, um, it really can um, enhance the pleasure and take away that pressure as well. So it's really, really fun. I would really, I, I would, I'm saying really a lot today. <laughs> That's something that I would highly recommend. I actually gave a workshop called The Gift of Pleasure and I talked about the formula of, se of sex. It was, for example, of most encounters. I would dare to say around 90% or maybe more of heterosexual female, male, female encounters would consist of kiss, caress, undress, optional oral sex, penetration, male orgasm, game over. And that's how it is for most encounters. And if you're doing that all the time, it, it doesn't really surprise me that people get bored um, in the, in you have it, they just get bored because <laughs> if you're just doing, this, doing the same thing all the time it gets predictable so I would propose changing it up maybe taking a few of those things out of that formula penetration being one of them and um, really focusing on other things such as um, focusing on discovering erogenous zones tickling or for example mutual massage that can be a very nice way or just being let's say one partner being the giver and just the other partner receiving all this touch and then giving feedback. So many ways to, to enjoy someone's body. And then you can actually communicate more what your desires are. So in terms of if you're gonna if you're gonna go for the classic foreplay, caress, kissing and um and um and manual oral stimulation before before penetration, then I think it's important to um given the fact that most females do not have orgasms during penetration, I think it would be good to focus on the female pleasure and make sure that um, the female partner has had an orgasm before penetration happens. That's not something that's, you know, a written rule, but I think that's a, a pretty good idea, something to, to work, to aim for. But in, in any case, you have to kind of always keep up with that um, communication. And yeah, so that you know that you're doing it, you're doing what the other person wants. And um, there are many um, tools and resources for actually sharing or, or communicating your desires with the other person, which is lots of um, tools online about sexual compatibility. And it's also, uh, I just read something really interesting today in a book that I'm, I'm going to interview the author next week. And it's all about different parts of sexuality. Let's say if we talk about um, speaking, communication, you can actually say to someone, do you like dirty talk? Do you like being insulted? Do you like role play? So thinking about the, the words we use, then thinking about the touch, how do you like to be touched? Um, hard, soft, and that, and, and really having conversations about these things. And then about oral sex, what do you like? Do you like, and also other accessories, do you like sex toys? Do you like lingerie? Do you like um, blindfolds? Things like that. So having these conversations about all these different aspects 
of sexuality, of, of sexual encounters can really be the best foreplay. Because talking for me is also part of foreplay and that can be very erotic. And um, as I talked about yesterday, sharing expectations is also very important and consent, etc. So yeah, so not just a couple of, uh, let me just make sure your couple of half-hearted licks, a um, couple of caresses and then let's go for it. That's not the kind of foreplay that we should be doing. It should be much more, um, you know, who's, who's timing sex? I think sex is better when there is no rush, unless you're into having quickies. I mean, I remember years ago, I used to um, go on my lunch break. I used to go home and just um, <laughs> and have sex with the guy I was living with. And we had a very limited amount of time. There was food to eat and there was, you know, sex to have, etc., and digestion and getting dressed and getting back to the office. And um, time was very important. <laughs> but in, in most cases, I think it's best to kind of have an unlimited amount of time for intimacy and um, just enjoy it as much as possible. Yeah, so those are my ideas about foreplay. I don't like the term foreplay. I think um, everything is part of sexuality, from the kiss to the penetration to the oral sex and blah, blah, blah. So what about you? What do you think? How long should foreplay last? Do you have any tips? Uh, we would love to read them in the comment section below and I'll be back tomorrow with tomorrow's video. So if you have any ideas for the, ne the, the next video, don't hesitate to write to me in the comments. Also, I've, I've been reading some comments. I do have some ideas for future videos. I think after this challenge, I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, and then keep up with that. And then I'm going to do a 30 day challenge on my other channel called The Orgasmic Lifestyle, if you want to follow me on there. And I'm, there I'm going to do more lifestyle tips. And also I'm going to publish the, the videos from my uh, podcast interviews, which are amazing. And um, yes, I'm going to focus on books, spirituality, nutrition, all the kind of lifestyle things that I'm also very, very passionate about. And there we have it. So thank you so much for supporting me on this um, challenge. And um, if you have anything to add on this video, don't hesitate to make a comment below. And um, if you have any ideas for future videos, don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org or leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful evening and hasta mañana. See you tomorrow.